Hello. At the moment, I run the Amadeus Centre, a well-established, medium-sized subud enterprise. All over Britain and throughout the world, other subud members are involved in enterprise, from the small and fragile to the well-established and prosperous. The purpose of this short video is to introduce you to three such people so that you can see why they got involved in enterprise and what they get out of it. And first up is a man who left a safe job to take a risk. I have retired from the National Health Service uh, and I'm able to support myself fully from a website which actually makes money, which is uh, fairly unique. <laughs> but the website's um, a second-hand book website. And the beauty of it is that I don't actually sell second-hand books. I point people in the direction of the people that do sell those books and get a commission for doing that. So instead of having a bookshop in a small town which could only get a few dozen people through in a day, I've got a worldwide bookshop uh, which has access to 1,500 people per day passing through its doors. And that is where um, the value uh, of the internet and the uh, logistics of a successful website come into play because you're talking small commissions but you're talking big numbers passing through. In fact most of my income comes uh, in the early hours of the morning when I'm fast asleep because the American market is hot then and they're buying and selling um, while I'm uh, in dreamland. <laughs> what a nice dream to wake up and have to count the money you've earned overnight. <laughs> well, nice work if you can get it. But Mukhtar is not the only one who's enterprising in the Nankavel household. His wife Latifa also left a safe job, but to make use of a different range of skills. I paint on silk, um, but mainly I do scarves and ties because that's what people seem to want. Um, but I've developed it over the years. I think maybe about eight years, um, because I really hated what I did before, which was nursing. And I love playing around with colour, so that's why I like painting on silks. And it's slowly but surely developed. The main thing I'd miss with the nursing was that steady income. But in fact, it's, it's more than, you know, I've actually make as much money as I did when I was nursing. So for Latifa, the risks and rewards of starting an enterprise have balanced well. Andrew Holloway, who comes next, was a potter who had a deep inner conviction that he should be working with wood instead. So how have things gone for him? We formed the company back in 1990 and uh, initially it was just myself and uh, another carpenter and occasionally two as and when they were needed and uh, traded through uh, over the 15 years into a company that now has six office staff, 11 full-time carpenters and between 8 and 20 subcontractors employed at any one time. We design, oversee the engineering and fabrication of uh, oak timber frame structures, that's the core business. Uh, latterly we've started doing more highly engineered and, and modern styles of structures like this building um, and that has led on to uh, other projects of similar ilk. Three different stories and three different outcomes, but some common themes. There is a saying that in order to reach new lands, you have to consent to leave sight of the shore. So what do the three people featured in this video have to say about risks and the courage to take them? Being willing to accept risks and the challenges that those risks bring is part of our growth process. And that actually we as individuals become bigger in um, uh, accepting our willing, you know, having willingness to, to take on the new challenges. Um, and also with doing enterprise, there's absolutely no sham as to where you are. You know, when, when something goes wrong and you find yourself in a flat spin, panicking, wondering how on earth you're going to cope, not going to sleep at night, you know that you are actually under the influence of the material forces that are represented 
in the challenge and in the, in the business in which you're involved. And you have to ask for help, you have to be able to surrender and find the resources within yourself. I think if you're not sure whether you're doing the right thing, then you might not even contemplate taking a risk. But I think if you follow you in, well, I followed my intuition, really, and knew that nursing was wrong for me. And I, I had, it sort of helped me have more faith in myself and feel more solid in myself to, to do it. I would say a lot of it's to do with self-development and getting much more self-confidence uh, and faith in myself, really. Papa told us we need courage in, 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 in Sword, and it's a very important ingredient. And uh, you know, if, if we, we haven't experienced the need for courage or, or put it to the test, uh, then, then we haven't um, had that lesson, and we need that lesson. Um, I've failed three times, at least, um, I, I've been a, an artist, uh, I've been a builder, I've been an accountant, a software consultant. Um, when I left school, I was a dustbin man for two weeks. <laughs> so I've done a few different jobs, and I wouldn't say I was very successful in any of those. Um, but I knew um, when I, I, I started this venture, which is, which is, the, uh, which is the, the website, that um, all the different parts of me were coming into play um, in a way that they've never done before. In addition to risk and courage, some other common themes are about using your talent and finding out who you are. But this is probably true for most entrepreneurs. So are there special qualities that make enterprise different for SUBUD members? If you want to develop, there aren't always next stages and recognising that when something happens, it has the potential to move you on to that point. And when you, you recognise that a step change is about to take place, then you have to galvanise everything within yourself to rise and meet that challenge. I didn't do any testing, really, at all. Because I think a lot of people make the mistake of testing every single thing they do. It's better to, to perhaps even make a mistake even if it's not the right thing, because I think surely if you work at it, the, the right path will come along and you'll have more faith in yourself. When I talk about instinct, I think that's my way of expressing a latihan, to follow your inner feeling, but it's very subtle. It becomes exciting, it becomes a, a real adventure, you know, and you can be as surprised as anybody uh, when things start to happen, you know, and things do happen when you're, when you're doing the right sort of uh, enterprise for you, uh, unexpected things happen and your problems are solved which you didn't think were possible. And what Papa described about, you know, just uh, popping out of the sky and going to sleep and, and coming up with the answer, I mean, those things do happen and, and, and you're as excited about it as anybody. <laughs> and uh, I realised fairly um, a long way down the, the, the the enterprise adventure, that the money aspect um, wasn't important as money, it was more like a barometer. I was using money, I noticed I was using money to show whether I got certain aspects of the business right. If the money started coming in, then that was to me, I've got it right, it's working, it's happening. If the money started dropping off, obviously there was something wrong and I'd change it, so it was becoming an indicator of, not of success, but of, of whether I'd set it up, whether it was right. Uh, the process I was, I was trying to build. So, risks and courage, using your talents and finding out who you are. It seems that enterprise is one of the ways of making real in this world what happens to you in the Latihan. And judging from the accounts of the three people in this video, it involves fun and adventure as well as challenges and rewards. It's not just about making money and it is for everyone. SES Britain is for everyone too. Whether you want to find out about enterprise, start an enterprise or grow an enterprise, SES Britain is here to work with you.